Good morning. Today we are going to do a short intro into our newest data acquisition hardware and software. This unit is going to be your mostly used in the wind tunnel. First of all, make sure that the USB cable is plug in, plugged in and then double click. In this setup, we have an accelerometer which is connected to channel 0 and the power supply which is connected to channel 7. We are going to do a new configuration with manual mode. First thing you want to do is to add your, your instrument to the setup. This is our unit, double click. Make sure that the unit is recognized, then go to the channels menu. In our setup we have two channels. We have channel 0, which is acceleration. And we have channel 7, which is voltage. Now, for voltage, we can accept voltage directly. For the acceleration, we want to change the voltage reading to acceleration. So this is G. And this sensor has 10 G per volt scaling factor. This is... This is it for the setup. Now, now go to the display menu and add some, some displays. So this is a scalar one and some oscilloscope. Now it, this is drag and drop, so it's very simple. The same goes here. And we can hit play. Again, if we, if we change change the acceleration, we can get the reading. If we are playing with the variating power supply, we also get the, the voltage. Everything's, everything seems in order. You can stop. So the, the play button is just playing, playing the readings with no recording. The record button will record your readings. And once you hit stop, the file will be exported to CSV, CSV format, which is Excel format. And that's about it. You got your file in Excel format. Okay, now that you know how to acquire data, let's look at some of the options that are available in the software. So first of all, because this, this is acceleration and this one is volts, it makes sense to separate these two values from one chart. So we go to settings and we can for example, remove this one from the chart and then add another, another strip chart here. Then throw our voltage here. So when we hit play, of course, makes sense have different have different vertical axis values and they don't override each, each one of them. Okay. Now, uh, other thing that you can do here is to set set your axis to a fixed value, so uh, it, they won't jump each time that you touch your sensor. But do fixed scale. So, for example, this uh, this uh, accelerometer is uh, plus minus 50 g. I don't think we are going to reach this in the lab settings, but nonetheless, you can set this. And here you can go from, let's say, 10 and minus 10 volts. Then your access will be much more, okay, much more reasonable. They won't jump with each change of the reading. Of course, you can play play here further. It's a, it's a very simple setup. Now let's go to the available menus of your sensors. Okay, each sensor. First of all, you can adjust the available voltage range. So if if your sensor, the maximum output is around five volts, it makes little sense to keep the range to twenty. Okay, so you, you, you can play with this. 
And uh, other thing that you can adjust here is uh, the data rate. And uh, you need to remember that data rate is um, connected with the sample rate. So it's, uh, it's a little bit weird here in the software. The only thing you need to remember is in order to adjust the sample rate to, to its fullest, you need to keep the data rate at, at the max. You see, if you, if you cut the data rate, your sample rate suffers. So uh, I admit it's, uh, it's not an optimal settings, and it's not that clear. But uh, just keep in mind that if you want to adjust the sample rate as you wish, you need to keep the data rate at max. Now, regarding sample rates, this instrument has a maximum sample rate of 1,100 hertz for all of the channels. If you add channels, the, the total sample rate will be cut by the number of channels. So uh, in this, this set, for example, we have two channels, two active channels, and the 1100 hertz is cut to the maximum of 550 per channel. So you can, you can play with this. Just remember that uh, if you have your full 16 channel, uh, channel active, then uh, the, the largest sampling rate will be slightly below 100 hertz. So, um, yeah, you can continue playing with this by yourself.